Hi, you guys. I hope everybody is doing well today. Today is May 10th of 2023, and I have a powerful word that I received yesterday um, on May 9th of 2023 that I want to share with you guys. Um, yeah, so I was literally, this was, it was a powerful word. It was, I just want to share how I got the word. I was sitting right behind me in the glory galley. That's what I call it. My table. <laughs> the glory girl has lots of names, lots of things in it. The glory galley. We got the glory gliders behind me on this side. But anyway, um, so I was at the glory galley and I was just, you know, spending some time with the Lord and I just, excuse me, started praying in the spirit and the spirit just fell on me so strong. Like, the Holy Spirit was just so, like, the anointing and the the power and just the, it was just a manifested presence of God. Like, it was just overwhelming to where I was sitting and I actually had to stand up because it was just so, so heavy, so strong. I had to stand up. Um, and when I stood up, it just hit me so hard. Like my legs were just trembling and shaking and I couldn't even like, I couldn't stand up. Like I couldn't walk. So I literally had to get on my face. And so I got on my face before the Lord. And then, and then I was just like, what's going on? Like what I asked him, I said, what's going on? Because that doesn't happen all the time where he just bam hits me with the spirit. And like, it's, this overwhelming presence of God. Like it was just an overwhelming, like I couldn't even stand. I mean, it was just so powerful. And so, so I was like, what's going on? And he said, for I, the Lord this day, that's what he said for I, the Lord this day. And I said, okay, for I, the Lord this day, you know, I was just like, kind of just still just like, you know, praying in the spirit or whatever. And he said, I need you to get up. I need you to write. And so I got up to write. And, um, and then I got this word, like, and the spirit was, I was, it was such a strong, powerful word. Um, I'm going to pray really quick and then I will give you this word. Heavenly father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you father uh, for today. I thank you father that, um, that you are here with us, each and every one of your children right now, today, wherever they are, father God, I just ask Lord that you fill them with your peace. Um, Lord God, as we are as we continue to walk through this storm that we're in right now, Father, and I just thank you that we're not in it alone and that you are with us, Lord, and that you, that you give us your peace, that you give us your joy um, through it all, Lord, that you just fill us with your hope and, um, and your love. And so we just love you. We honor you. We glorify you. Thank you for this word that I'm about to share with your children, Lord God. And I thank you for um, for just the honor to to share this with your children. That you that you have given me the honor to share this with your people, Father God. And um, I just ask that you bless them, Lord God, in every way. Touch each and every one of them, Father. And um, I just plead the blood of Jesus over them and then their their families in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Amen. Okay. So I'm going to read scripture first. Um, so today, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to release this word today. Well, I kind of knew I did know, but then I was kind of fighting it. Well, really the enemy was trying to keep me from sharing the word today. That's just, you know, and so I'm grinding some coffee just a little bit ago. And I was literally just like, oh, like I want to take a nap. <laughs> like literally that's, I was like, Lord, I just want to take a nap. I'm tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I'm tired. And so, um, and I was just like, but I know you want me to release. It's like, do you want me to release this word? Well, you haven't even given me scripture yet. Like, I don't even have a scripture to go with this word and yada, yada, yada. And, and the Holy Spirit's talking to me. He's like, you know, you know, you know what's going on. Like, you know, you see, you know what's happening right now. Like you're not blind. <laughs> like you, you know, so you need to fight it off. You need to fight off what's going on which is the enemy trying to stop me from getting this word out that's what it was all about and so 
And so when I when I said, well, you haven't even given me any scripture yet, and Isaiah 54, just Isaiah 54, he dropped it as I'm, so the Holy Spirit said, and I was like, okay, so I stopped grinding coffee, and then I went and grabbed my Bible, and I read Isaiah 54, and so um, I'm going to read Isaiah 54 to you guys, <laughs> and so this is what, this is what Isaiah 54, I'm going to read the whole thing, and so, um, so just, it's not that long. Um, so 54, starting in verse 1, it says, uh, a single childless woman. This is out of the New Living um, Bible, the New Living Translation or whatever. Um, single ch childless woman, break out into loud and joyful song, Jerusalem. For she who has abandoned, she who was abandoned has more blessings now than the whole, than she who whose husband stayed. Enlarge your house. Build an addition, spread out your home, for you will soon be bursting at the seams, and your descendants will possess the cities left behind during the exile and rule the nations that took their lands. Fear not, you will no longer live in shame. The shame of your youth and the sorrows of your widowhood will be remembered no more, for your creator will be your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. He is your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel and God of all the earth. For the Lord has called you back from your grief, a young wife abandoned by her husband. For a brief moment, I abandon you, but with great compassion, I will gather you. In a moment of anger, I turned my face a little while, but with everlasting love, I will have pity on you, says the Lord, your redeemer. Um, just as in the time of Noah, I swore that I would never again permit the waters of a flood to cover the earth and destroy its life. So now I swear that I will never again pour out my anger on you as I have, as I have during this exile for the mountains may depart and the hills disappear, but my kindness shall n not leave you. My promise of peace for you will never be broken, says the Lord, who has mercy upon you. Um, o oh, afflicted, this is in, uh, sorry, I can't even read the numbers. Um, oh, I was going to try and tell you what verse, but where I was starting, but I can't. Oh, my afflicted people, tempest tossed and troubled. I will rebuild you on a foundation of sapphires and make the walls of your houses from precious jewels. I will make your towers of sparkling a gate and your gates and walls of shining gems. And all your citizens shall be taught by me and their prosperity shall be great. You will live under a government that is just and fair. Your enemies will stay far away. You will have, you will live in peace. Terror shall not come near. If any nation comes to fight you, I will. it will not be sent by me to punish you. Therefore, it will be, it will be routed, for I am on your side. I have created the smith who blows the coals beneath the forge and makes the weapons of destruction. And as I created the armies that destroy... And, sorry, and I have created the armies that destroy. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you shall succeed. And you will, and you will have justice against every courtroom lie. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is the blessing I have given you, says the Lord. Okay, so that's Isaiah 54. And so now I'm going to read the word. I got it at 5, um, I got it on 5, 9, 20, 23 at 8, 59 a.m. And um, like I said, the spirit hit me so hard. I just, I, I noted this down. The spirit hit me so large, that my, so hard. My legs were trembling so much I had to drop to my knees. And so this is what he says. For I, the spirit of the Lord, say to you this day, I am coming with a vengeance against all who are against me. Yes, your time is up and has come to an end. 
I am done with all of you who are all, wait, sorry. I am, I am done with all that you are and all that you have done to my children, says the Lord. For I say, I am the I am, and I can handle all that you have done and all that you are doing. But when you mess with my children and my little ones, that, sorry, with my little ones that cannot defend themselves, this is where I draw the line. I am coming for you says the Lord. So he's talking to his enemies right there. To our enemies. And he's talking about his kids, his children, us, and the little children. So he's he's a little ticked. I can tell he's a little, he's ticked. My children, now he's talking to us, my children, hold on tight to me as I take down every single one of my enemies. My fury is coming to destroy them all. Not just some, no, all of them. Now is all in bold. When I say hold on tight, I mean this is the time to be in my presence like never before. You will need you will need me and all that I am to keep you in a peace, to keep you in peace during this takedown. I have had enough, says the Lord. You, my children, my strong and courageous remnant, have moved my heart, which has moved my hand. Your shouts, pleas, and decrees have touched my throne. And now, that's in bold, I am coming to your rescue. This rescue mission may look a bit chaotic, but know that I am with you in the chaos. Don't put your trust in the things of this world. Put all your trust in me. And that was in bold. And you will not be moved. For this is the time, says the Lord, that the big changes I've talked about for so long will start to manifest. These changes will destroy, and I mean annihilate, the plans of the wicked ones. These ruthless, evil, godless, these evil, ruthless, godless ones working for their loser-defeated foe of a god, Satan, are finished. Ha! They are finished, says the Lord. Get with me, my people. Get with me as these ones will fight on their way down. Yes, kicking and screaming, my children. This, this will cause them to react with more bad behavior that will try to hurt you with no avail. It will look bad, but will not harm you, as I have you in the palm of my hand. Stay close to me, children, and you will find peace and rest in the mess, says the Lord. I am coming, my children. I am coming, so get ready for me. Get your dancing shoes on and break out your tambourines as celebrations will break out throughout the land. Start singing your victory songs. Your victory and freedom is on the way, says the Lord your God, maker of heaven and earth, in my son Yeshua, Jesus Christ in the name of my son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. And that is the word that I received. It's pretty powerful. He's directly, he's speaking directly to the enemies of Almighty God. And I think we all know who that is, who they, who they are. So, um, yeah. It was pretty powerful, you guys. And I was just like literally shaking, like trembling when I received this word. So it was like even the insides, my, my, like my, my chest, my spirit, my everything was just trembling when I was receiving this word. It was very powerful. Very, very powerful. And so um, he is, he means business, you guys. And I don't like, you know, like I say, I don't know. I don't know when or how, you know, take it to the Lord in prayer. That's all I can say. Take this to the Lord in prayer because I don't know. I just know what I hear. And <laughs> and then what I hear, I share with you, which, which is, the, and that's it. That's all I know. So I don't know anything more than you guys know. I just received the word. And then I release the word 
And the thing with prophetic words is faith has to come behind the word. So now that I released it, now I'm releasing it out there. Now we, as the remnant, and we as the children of Almighty God, we have to put this to faith. We have to put our faith behind the word and start decreeing it, that, that it's going to come to, you know, that God is going to um, do all that he said that he's going to do. But prophetic words can be weird. Like, we can hinder it. If we're not in unity and having faith and believing, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a teacher on the prophetic or anything. I'm learning myself. Trust and believe. Like I am listening to books and reading books, um, you know, about, uh, from Tim Sheets and Dutch Sheets. And, um, you know, those are two that I love to, to, to read and to listen to. And, um, and, uh, my spirit resonates with them and, and all that they say and all that they're about. And so that's, um, just you know so anyway i just want I, I i hope this encourages you guys because it's 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 a it's a very encouraging word like he's gonna take them out he's taking them down how that pans out and how it i don't know i don't know you know like like right here actually in 55 isaiah 55 And uh, eight, I think it says, this plan of mine is not what you would work out. Neither are my thoughts the same as yours. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts than yours. So as we sit and wait and wait and wait and wait, <laughs> He's in control and our ways are not, his ways are higher. They're better. He knows what he's doing. We just have to believe what he says. And that's that. And so praise God. I'm just so grateful that he gives us these words because you know what? It just gives us the, it gives us the power and the, the, just the oomph to keep going. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you know, okay. God has spoken and he's saying this. And so, you know, we just have to be patient and wait on his, on him to fulfill his word. And he doesn't lie. And so, praise God. Um, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a super blessed day. I um, will prayerfully be back soon. But, um, yeah, have a blessed day. And God loves you so much. Jesus loves you. And... Just have a beautiful, blessed day.